This example asks us to find the indefinite integral. We know it's an indefinite integral because we don't have any bounds. We don't have any numbers on our integral symbol of this equation, 2 to the 9x dx. What you're looking at here is a special case antiderivative. So, you know, I call things special cases when you have to have them memorized, when there's no way of getting there by any other rule other than memorizing exactly what it was. So we saw that with derivatives, when we were memorizing the derivative of sine, memorizing cosine, tangent, all those derivatives. Everything you had to memorize as a special case derivative, guess what? You're going to need to memorize it going the other direction. And so that's what we're looking at here. This is the special case of an exponential function. So anytime we have a number raised to and then a number times x dx. I highly recommend memorizing this form with the number times x piece in it. It will save you a ton of work on some later problems. So the special case for this always works out to be 1 over whatever that number is inside there times 1 over the natural log of our base of whatever that a value is and then times a to the nx. That piece stays the same and then we always put a plus c when I do my special cases, I always do them as indefinite integrals. So coming through and looking at our specific situation, we've got an n up here of 9, and then our a value is 2. So following this special case, we would get 1 over n, so 1 over 9 times 1 over the natural log of our a value, which is 2, and then times that exponential just stays the same. And then whenever we're dealing with indefinite integrals, we always put a plus C at the end here to track the fact that this is a family of solutions. So we don't know specifically what that C value is, but we know there could have been a constant there. And no matter what that constant was, the derivative of a constant is always zero. So we keep track of the fact that there could have been a constant by always putting that plus C. So our indefinite integral of this given exponential equation looks like that. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please click that like button and subscribe. And also share it with your friends and anyone else you know who might be crying about an upcoming AP Calc test. You can find more videos from me, more sample AP Calc questions, and my complete AP Calc study guide over at my website, apcalcprep.com. Have a great one.